Hello everyone, welcome back to Armor Warfare. This is the Cynical Romanian and today I've got a tank, full tank review for you on the tier 5 premium Chinese main battle tank, the WZ-1224. And if you have no intention of playing this tank, then stick around anyway and I'll show you how to effectively take it out on the battlefield. Welcome, welcome everyone to the garage. This is the tank, the WZ-124. Visually, it's uh, nothing to write home about. I actually personally think it's a bit ugly. I guess it's a prototype tank. I guess they wanted to blend uh, <coughs> uh, west and east. Kind of looks like something Soviet crossed with something western, maybe. But uh, enough about the looks. Let's talk about the uh, overall stats. So I'm going to compare penetration, DPM and gun depression with... Uh, Four other uh, main battle tanks: uh, the Leopard 1A5, M60A3, the T72, and the Chieftain. So hopefully the values will appear on screen right about now. Um, well, let's talk about penetration first. Actually, funny story about the penetration: it used to be the tank used to uh, when it first uh, appeared. It uh, had the uh, one. 125 millimeter gun and uh, the penetration was lower than it is now not by much but it was lower and in the recent patch they buffed I guess you could say <coughs> the gun they lowered its caliber from 125 to 120 millimeters which basically meant it increased uh, the penetration logic you know go figure so it now has the joint highest penetration at tier 5 for a main battle tank with the T-72. Previously the T-72 had the highest. Followed closely by the Leopard 1A5 and the M60A3 with 319mm and Chieftain lagging behind that 300. DPM wise it's, uh, it ha it's over the M60A3. It's barely over the Leopard and it's uh, significantly lower than the T72 and lower than the Chieftain. And this is where the shit really hits the fan. Uh, gun depression. And uh, if, as you can see, obviously, Chieftain and the M60A3 reign supreme with 10 degrees. Uh, followed closely by the Leopard. And even the T72 has at least 6 degrees. But, I mean, <laughs> the WZ... Can we have can we have a round of applause for the lowest main battle tank gun depression in the game? Three degrees. I mean, to put this into perspective, if you if you drive over a, a sidewalk or a bump in the road, that's it. That your gun depression is gone. You can't shoot. So it's 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 uh, diabolically bad. So that's. Uh, that is the gun performance. Let's take a quick look at the, some of the other stats. Um, hit points, we'll talk about the hit points in a moment. Uh, max speed 64.80, which it will reach mostly on flat terrain and uh, going downhill obviously with the 7.65 uh, acceleration speed. Camouflage is insignificant, it's a main battle tank view range. Average for tier 5, 345 meters. Uh, and of course the gun depression, which incidentally, let me turn the tank around like this. That's, that's, that's the maximum gun depression. That, that's the most you can depress the gun right there. It's pathetic. And it's even worse if uh, you can imagine that over the back of the tank. Do not try to hit anything over the back of your tank. You will not be able to. Turret traverse, average, good enough. 34.34 degrees per second. Accuracy spread a respectable 0 0.13 and the name time of uh, 2.64. Incidentally, the uh, my crew is level 3, so the aim time could be a little better, but uh, it's nothing game breaking. Right, I said something about the HP. Now, <clears throat> uh, in my case, I have uh, it has 1901. 1901 uh, hit points because I have three uh, the urge of head layout is very very customizable as you can see it has three um, 
universal slots, which pretty much means you can customize it, customize it uh, the way you want. If you want to increase only the firepower you, or the mobility, the technology, the hit points, <clears throat> and so on, obviously you can mix and match. It's completely up to up to you. Uh, without any retrofits, uh, the stock hit points of the tank is 1620, 1628. So it's uh, somewhere in the middle. It's uh, higher than the, but not by much higher than the T72, for example. Right. That's uh, and it has uh, like uh, the Soviet tanks. It. Uh, let me just. I don't know why this guy. I usually use what's her face. Right, it only has two crew members, aside from the commander, of course, like the Soviet tanks, which means you do not get a loader. The gunner also has the, if I'm not mistaken, the the other skills. Right, let's talk armor, and this is where this is why people say it's overpowered. I personally think it's not overpowered, but uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. As you can see by the numbers. 425 millimeters on the front of the turret, 340 on the side. The rear and the sides are garbage. The lower plate is a respectable 280 millimeters, which is pretty good for a lower plate on a tier 5 tank. It's actually the best in the game. And it's one of the reasons that people cry about it, because usually if you see a tank, you oh the lower plate is a weak spot, and people usually go for lower plates. Well, in this case... It is and it isn't. It's not that easy to penetrate, on average. Uh, but I'll talk why, uh, about why in a moment. Um, the tank is made out of steel. Multipliers for the hull are 1.00, uh, which gives gives it to the 280 millimeters at the front. Now, the turret, the 425, is incredibly good against uh, armor piercing, obviously and HE is identical, it doesn't matter, uh, but it has 425 millimeters because of the f shape. If you could look at it, it forms kind of a duck bill. No, no, actually kind of a wedge. You know, like a wedge? Wedge? Yes, sorry. Yes, a wedge. A wedge form with uh, which makes it, uh, if you hit it, uh, and uh, this area on the right and the left of the gun if you don't have upwards of 450 more actually uh, penetration you will uh, auto, auto ricochet so you should keep that in mind frontally there are two there are two major weak major only one major weak spot and it's obviously the lower plate uh, but it's still like I said 280 millimeters it, which pretty much means if you're on even ground with uh, against the lower tier tanks tier 4 and god knows why tier 3 you're pretty much immune against them they're, they're not going to be able to penetrate it's just no chance um, the lower plate obviously and if you cannot hit the lower plate I'll just turn the thing like this, uh, but it's a much, much harder target to hit the turret ring, as you can see. The tank is also not very, it has a low profile, which makes the turret ring very difficult to hit. So it's not much of a weak spot. Um, if you cannot hit both the lower plate and the turret ring uh, on the top of the turret, there are two hatches on the left and the right they're weak spots but because they're not critical points of the tank you will do reduce damage so you should just keep that in mind alternatively if you want to shoot high explosive shoot under the gun you will do moderate damage and you will also damage the gun continuously which is also good for harassment but that's versus uh, AP and HE shape charge oh uh, before I forget the side of the turret it says 340 millimeters but i can tell you from experience that 380 millimeters is only at the front of the turret a very small uh, portion actually and the rest 
as you can see is uh, penetratable by 200 plus millimeters as you're gonna see in the replay so it's pretty pretty simple pretty easy to penetrate it's uh, a fictitious 340 millimeters I can tell you that for a fact so versus shape charge well things change dramatically obviously the because of the multipliers the lower plate remains exactly the same and the turret drops down to a well still 300 millimeters you would say oh but 300 millimeters is pretty good well actually it's not because uh, even the lowest uh, uh, anti-tech guided missiles have uh, i'm pretty sure there are about uh, there are a few tanks at tier 4 that have anti anti tank guided missiles and i can tell you for a fact they all have over 500 millimeters of penetration so which means if you have an anti tank guided missile shoot it anywhere on the on the wedge you will penetrate it you'll go through it like a hot knife through butter it has no chance of bouncing and the same with the lower plate obvious uh, obviously from the side shoot it anywhere you'll penetrate it it's not even funny uh, side and rear garbage not even worth talking about so yeah uh, i don't know why people i mean obviously if 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 you're top tier you're gonna seal club it's inevitable the tank is really that strong but once you start shooting uh, that's 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 the tanks uh, let's say that that is the tank's uh, Achilles heel, the anti-tank guided missile. If you have 80 gems, shoot it with 80 gems, you will completely destroy it. Right, so that's enough theory crafting, I think. So um, let us uh, get straight to the replay. Okay, here we are in the replay. I had this game the same day I was uh, recording stuff for the for the review. Um, we're on the Narrows map, which is not incredibly good for the for this tank because obviously of the gun depression. Now, what usually happens on this map is uh, main battle tanks uh, on this side tend to cluster around this position and the hold down position. Then, in, on over here to this choke point, uh, and alternatively, they go up to up here and fight it out um, over onto this refinery position whatever but enough about the oh, a little bump from the friendly ERC there enough about the map so initially I wanted to go up to the refinery but then I saw the how people were uh, spreading out and uh, decided in, in the end to come over here uh, if you, as you can see, the tank is not. Uh, it's moving at a comfortable for 40, between 40 and 50 kilometers per hour, on uh, flat terrain, and uh, going downhill. Obviously, it will reach its 64 kilometer per hour top speed. Okay, here we are in the really good hold down position. However, usually. What happens is uh, tank destroyers, uh, AFVs, and even some lazy ass, punk ass uh, main battle tanks tend to camp uh, these uh, positions uh, at the other end of the map. Alternatively, if you want to stop uh, people uh, that are crossing the river, uh, you can uh, put yourself up in into this position. Uh, preferably with a main battle tank but you can do it with a um, sneaky AFV like you see this BMD doing and the just harass tanks that uh, either want to camp the riverbed or want to cross it so this is what uh, this uh, uh, friendly WZ wanted to do and th here's the uh, missile smoke trail which ends into my friendly WZ here so I went behind this rock because it's real, a real good hold down. All they have to shoot at basically is my turret. And I wanted to shoot that Leopard 1 if I've... However, I overextended the tank behind the rock and 
exposed by the side of my tank and got shot probably by a tank destroyer here I don't I have no idea what that OF40 was thinking of thinking about he gets ranked and absolutely destroyed see here I barely have enough gun depression I have to maneuver literally maneuver my tank to shoot that leopard and I shoot him once you can't see it from here but he's actually side scraping and not very good uh, I shoot him once and there he is this WZ is still fighting it out with that BMD nothing interesting happens except I keep uh, peekabooing uh, against that Leopard 1A5 who is badly side scraping against me I, ha I think there for a moment I want to shoot the other Leopard but I pull back because I was worried about the other Leopard shooting inside of my tank and here he comes again and I shoot him and penetrate again he misses that was actually I think that was a heat round or a high explosive round so I shoot and miss whoops so I shoot him again and I mean look at look at how badly he's uh, He's side scraping against me, and then I kill him. There's nothing you can do about it. So yeah, he was actually trying to to aim at the weak point with the side of his tank sticking out against me. So here I just shoot this guy. I think I managed to shoot him twice. He's now trying to obviously to flank the, my friend down there in the riverbed, which has been reduced to a one shot uh, by that enemy BMD unfortunately he didn't drown and he's gonna come up any moment now and fortunately enough for my friend there I track him I damage him and track him and he doesn't have enough gun depression to kill him and he has he has no chance he's, he's fucked he's fucked I shoot him again and I track him again here he comes, yep, and now he's a one shot, I auto aim and kill him. And there he goes. Uh, I don't know how exactly he got lucky there and penetrated the upper plate of my tank, probably because it was angled downward. So keep that in mind, if you angle the the upper plate downward, it, uh, dim it greatly diminishes the armor value so from here on it's just me and that uh, friendly WZ in the riverbed on perilously low health unfortunately because there's no first person viewer it also doesn't show the uh, spotted mechanic the spotted icon so uh, I was I, I keep peekabooing because I, I kept getting spotted so it was either another uh, AFV a tank destroyer something was spotting me from uh, the other side of the map so I kept peekabooing them I kept giving them something to to shoot that uh, so they wouldn't uh, focus their fire on my friend in the riverbed but unfortunately the fox Manages to get around and kill and kill the WZ down there. I, I shoot him once, but he Gets in cover behind that rock. I should I should have blind there. I Didn't hit him obviously it was just I Don't know I I have no idea why I shot there now obviously what I'm thinking is well I'm not spotted anymore, but the Fox will surely come this way and flank me so I uh, relocated that uh, choke point to the left. I was I was really afraid that the fox would uh, would flank me, but here I am. But where's the fox? No fox, and I wasn't spotted. 
So I was kind of uh, I was kind of worried at this point. Where's the fox? Where's the BMD? Where are the camping tank destroyers? And I'm alone on this map, on this side of the map. But fortunately for me, there it is. I hear the tree falling on the right, on my right there. There it is. I had just enough volume to hear it fall. And uh, that's when I that's when I realized, oh God, they're flanking me. They're flanking me from my previous position. So I immediately turn around. And surely enough, there he is, the fox, the BMD. I try to hit the fox there, but the diabolically bad gun depression strikes again. I try to hit again and I miss. I take an ATGM from the BMD. I shoot the LAV again. And then I back up because I don't want to be flanked. Here is again, again, look, this is the maximum, literally this is the maximum gun depression I can squeeze out of this tank in this position. I literally cannot get it any lower to shoot that LAV that was flanking around. I just couldn't. I literally couldn't. That's how bad the gun depression is. And obviously what's going through my head now, well, either one or both of the AFVs, the Fox and the BMD are gonna flag me, but amazingly they don't. Instead, the Fox will run away and the BMD, I don't know what, he. I think he tries to shoot the there he is, he overshoots uh, the top of my turret, he misses with the ATGM and he runs away. Now I, load the, I loaded the uh, heat rounds and I tried to hit the fox. Actually this first shot is a bounce. I hit the side of the tank at, at an extreme angle and I bounced. The second shot is a miss. And then I think to myself, well maybe I'll hit the LAV. But I miss, uh, and uh, now there, are, there were, uh, were a couple of things uh, going through my mind. I saw the LAV stop behind that uh, giant thingy, uh, which basically means he's actually waiting for him to not be spotted anymore, or he's waiting for the BMD to flank me. And my spider uh, sense is tingling, I turn around, and sure enough, there's the BMD. Bang, I kill him. <laughs> and he's gonna be... He's gonna be pretty mad in the chat in a moment. Oh, how the fuck did you know? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, Cunt. He calls me a cunt. Doesn't really bother me. I take a shot from the... Probably uh, an enemy tank destroyer. And I go after the LAV. I expect him to be there, but he appears to my left. I take a shot. I kill him and I feel pretty good about myself however from here on out uh, the game really doesn't go very well there's just me and the friendly ERC left he kills these two guys that attack him then what I thought I thought I wanted to just um, stay together I tried to take a shot at, uh, at that uh, M60 but I didn't have enough gun depression and here it comes right about now there it is i get penetrated in the side of the tank and tracked by the enemy zio s premium tank tier 4 tank destroyer there he is in an excellent position lots of camouflage uh the i couldn't even as, as if you look at the map uh, I was nowhere even close to spotting him from from where I was. I instantly repair, but it really doesn't matter. He's not stupid. He's not gonna waste the shot on the front of my tank. Instead, he waits for me to turn my turret, and there he is, right in the back of the turret. He penetrates. Just as a side note, that 340 millimeters of side armor on the turret is fictional. The Zio S has if i'm not mistaken 214 millimeters something like that and he managed to penetrate me and from here on uh, the erc yeah uh, he's gonna die any moment now so a disappointing uh, 
a disappointing end if I do say so myself so yeah there he goes he both said ah oh, gg me by me in the chat fair fair play to the guy he he played a pretty good game as you're gonna see in a moment a good game unfortunately uh aside from as you can see me and the other wz did over for uh, we almost have we almost have the same um, damage amount i come uh, head on uh, on uh, damage on uh, experience by a bit he comes ahead by dam uh, by damage by a bit so we're more almost exactly the same results so uh, so obviously the rest of the team didn't do so well besides me and that uh, other guy so yeah fair play to that other guy he did really well as you can see over 6000 damage right all right so that's the tank uh, i really hope i demystified the the notion that it's overpowered it is and it isn't it's b the the armor uh, strength uh, for its tier it's is incredibly balanced by the fact that it has literally no gun depression so that's uh, that's the thing obviously now because it's a premium tank the question then becomes is it worth the 1500 gold uh, honestly if you're a tank collector obviously you're gonna buy it regardless of what I say but for the average uh, consumer well I'm gonna say I'm gonna have to say no it's 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 the gun depression is just just it's it makes it incredibly situational it doesn't have uh, it's not uh, versatile and I like my tanks to be versatile so right anyway guys thanks uh, thanks so very much for watching i hope you uh, enjoyed it i hope it helped you understand this tank let me know in the comments below if you still think it's overpowered if you think it's uh, underpowered and i will uh, see you in the next video thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it then by all means share it with your friends also like comment and subscribe it really helps the channel out Thanks again for watching and I will see you in another video.